Number four, referring to figure 23.57 letter B, what is the direction of the current induced in the coil if, letter A, the current in the wire increases? All right, so check out number three. I went through a detailed analysis of uh, this kind of induced current stuff. So this one, I'm going to just apply it a little faster. So here we have a current. It is now moving upwards. So what that means is that there is a magnetic field according to right-hand rule number two, which we covered in chapter 22. Uh, that would rotate then around this particular wire. We would have a magnetic field being produced on the right-hand side going into the page. All right. And then magnetic field on the uh, left-hand side coming out of the page. All right. Boom, 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 boom. So now it says, uh, if the current in the wire increases, my question, so if this current right here, if this current is increasing, then what's happening to the strength of the magnetic field that it is producing? Well, they're going to be increasing as well, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put more X's now. All right, I'm going to put more red X's. Now the rule is that this changing magnetic field, right, this changing flux basically, um, will produce a current in this wire, okay? Whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, we have to analyze that. But it will produce a current in that wire such that the magnetic field produced by that current will oppose the change in the magnetic flux through that coil. In other words, it will oppose then the magnetic field increase, okay? in that wire. So the only way to do that, if we're putting more X's, how do we oppose that? How do we oppose the change? Well, that means there has to be then, the only way to oppose it, right? Think about vectors, is to have some other vectors pointing in the opposite direction, right? So we're going to now induce a current in such a way that produces then magnetic field lines that come out of the middle of the wire or come out of the page. And the only way for that to happen is if and think about this, should the current then rotate clockwise or counterclockwise? Apply right-hand rule number two. I'll let you think about it. What'd you come up with? Well, if it goes counterclockwise, you can put your, you know, thumb now pointing to the left. Your fingers will curl around this. They'll curl into the page here, and then they'll come out of the page inside the loop, right? So it should go in a counterclockwise direction, okay? So the answer here is counterclockwise. Okay, cool. So now, uh, what's the next one? Letter B, it says, if the current in the wire now decreases, so this is gonna be the exact opposite. <clears throat> so now, we have some magnetic field vectors, right, being produced by that current, I, and I'm gonna draw a whole bunch of X's because in this case now, I'm not gonna add X's, you'll see. Hold on, this just pretend like this is the constant field. What's happening now is that the current here is going to be decreasing. And what that means then is that the magnetic field strength should also be decreasing. So what that means is that I have to now start erasing some of these X's inside the loop, okay? And if the magnetic field now, passing through that loop, is decreasing, that means the magnetic flux is decreasing. And what that means is that there will be a current induced in this coil, counterclockwise or clockwise, such that it opposes the change in the magnetic flux, such that it opposes the change here in the reduced magnetic field pointing into the page. And the only way to do that, the only way to oppose it, would not be to add more dots, right? Because then that would almost have the effect of canceling these out, right? You're almost doubling down, so to speak, on the change. The only way to do it is to put more X's in here again. And the only way you're gonna get more X's in here is if the current that's passing through this loop is moving in a clockwise fashion. Use right-hand rule number two. All right, clockwise. And then letter C, it says, if the current in the wire suddenly changes uh, direction. Okay, so if the current now suddenly changes direction, so what that means is we have to consider this, okay? So let me erase all this. So we have now, remember we had X's originally because the current I'll assume we have to think about how it changes. That's what's important. All right, so how it changes. So what's happening now 
is that the strength here of the magnetic field, right, initially drops to, as, as this current, instead of pointing up, as it now points down, what do you think happens to the direction now of the magnetic field? It's going to switch right on that particular side. So now what's happening is we have to turn them all into like dots now. Okay, so I'm not going to turn them all into dots. I'm just going to turn some because that'll help us analyze the problem. All right. So let me put a few more X's in here just so I can erase more. Okay, I'm not saying that it's increasing. I'm just putting more X's so I can erase some. All right. So now what's happening is that these X's basically, all of them will be, but I'm only going to do some for illustrative purposes. But they're all turning now to dots. Okay. They're all turning now. Let me put that in red, actually. They're all turning now to dots. Okay. So now think about this. If they went from X's to dots, what do you think now, in order to oppose that change, right? In order to oppose that change, we would have to create a magnetic field that now points into the page, right? Because remember, they're all becoming dots now. They're coming out of the page. The only way to oppose that changing magnetic field is to now create uh, magnetic field vectors that are pointing into the page. And now the question is, what direction should the current flow in that wire to create these X's? Well, what do you think? So it basically works out to be similar to what we talked about before, right? The only way for that to happen is if this is going in a clockwise direction. Okay, you can use right hand rule number two at any point along that along that uh, wire. All right, so clockwise. Cool? All right. So that's it. Good. All right. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.